Since the dawn of time, we've tried to catch the wind and harness it, understand it, but never to tame it. The wind has been harnessed in mills for power, used as a catalyst for discovery, filling sails and shredding others to pieces. The first Stylistically, it was really interesting. It was very personal. Um, it felt like a travel log, uh, and you do a great job of having these moments one-on-one uh, -on -one with camera, but also uh, larger scenery shots as well that are really interesting to look at. Um, a great story, uh, great personalities on film, great transitions. The pacing was really great. It came together to be a really enjoyable piece to watch, um, which can be difficult where it is very uh, first-person narrative. Really, it was interesting and surprisingly soothing. I think that has a lot to do with our narrator's voice, um, which is very subdued and um, just seemed to fit the vibe of the, the film perfectly. Um, I like the mix of uh, film footage in there. I thought that was a nice touch. This film gives us such poetic views from this plane and this unassuming but impressive scenery of like millennia of rocks formation and human exploring through the sky. They have this amazing script when they touch of not having labels, flowing freely, and they give very deep analogies of nature and human personal growth. I also like the song and contrasting footage from the 16 millimeters camera and the more recent technology video recordings. It is, it gives a nostalgic sentimental vibe that perfectly complements the whole piece. Just this exploration of innocence of having that grow into a lifelong passion. Uh, we get to see this journey that a pilot kind of comes in, has this experience with this gentleman who just so happens to bring his, you know, camera and capture this experience. And they go up in the air and he even invites him to his next adventure even. And we kind of just get to see this experience through his eyes and we get to really see his passion for what he does and being in the air uh, you know kind of exposed and it's a beautiful sight to see i think the shots were both cinematic and uplifting and um, really makes you engage and care for his story because you see um the different facets of you can relate and you can um, think of your younger self and uh, know what it was like to like want to be a pilot or an astronaut when you're a kid. So when you get to see that be a reality, it's quite nice. Taking a concept like that and being like, I want to turn this idea or this general concept into a song. So I'm going to go experience it in this really unique way and talk to somebody who has experienced flight more than you know i have and you know get this different perspective and then see what i can do take a couple of days and try and come up with a song about it um i love the idea i think it's so awesome i think it would lead to such great life experiences um and just like the amount of time that he spent uh, talking about wind and it's important to life and it, it, and important to the to the planet itself and and then in, in addition to humans as well and relating life sorry relating wind to music i thought was such an interesting idea such an interesting concept that i've never thought of before in that way but has a real real merit um and i really loved the kind of um way that that spun things for me a little bit of how i thought about wind and what i could relate it to um not just that it's weather not just that it's you know this force of nature, but, you know, relate it to other things. I enjoyed the travelogue feel of the film. The voice narrating the experience was so warm and the writing poetic as it recounts the power of the wind and the beauty of nature. I love the soulful song that was produced by this journey and the camera work was just stunning with drone shots from the plain of water, mountains and gorgeous sunsets. Sometimes the film even had a cool home movie feel. 
I really enjoyed the fondness the two adventurers had for one another. 